evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Skip the Low Looks at Hollywood. From Hollywood, New York, London, Paris, and Rome, the international jet setter, Miss Monique Van Vorn. Also, the gentleman who not only owns one beautiful hotel, not two beautiful hotels, but five beautiful hotels right here in our own city of Los Angeles, Severin Ashkenazi. And ladies and gentlemen, here he is, man of the half hour, Skip B. Low. Van Vorn, my lord, <laughs> you look wonderful. Thank you. Do you know I saw you in that wonderful Broadway show, The Man in the Moon? Yes, Man on the Moon. <sighs> What a great show that was. I thought it was good. It was written by, uh, the music was John, Phillip, John Phillips of the Mamas and the Papas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, he was in the show, and Genevieve Waite, and um, we did fine until we were reviewed. Reviewed? Uh, <laughs> yes, well, the critics sort of... Uh, it was very offbeat, though. The public though. liked it very much. Yeah, it was a very offbeat show. You know, it, was it wasn't really commercial. It was probably not very commercial, but I enjoyed it a lot. Uh -huh. And... Uh, I got personally very good reviews when I did it. And uh -huh. It was in 1979, so you don't invite some. Tell me something. You write for Interview now, right? Andy Warhol is connected with I that show too, wasn't he? I'm and one you know? of the editors of Interview magazine. You, you are? Yes, and I've been writing for Interview since its inception at the very beginning. Uh -huh. But I write for um, uh, Cosmopolitan, I write for Town and Country, I write strips for Love Boats, so I do a lot of you writing. Do? Yes. Oh, I see. And I do, I wrote a novel called Night Sanctuary, and uh -huh. I do a lot of writing. You know, rich and famous, I don't know why I see you hosting that show. That's, you know, Robin Leach, okay. Yeah, but you, right. you should be on that rich and famous. I think of Monique Van Voren. Well, uh, how could I tell you about that show? I think that the idea of the show, I had a long time ago to do a show like it. Uh -huh. And I brought it to some people. And some people told some other people. And they got your and idea. And they got my idea, absolutely, down to the budget. Because if anyone knows rich and famous people in this world, it's Monique Van Voren. You uh, know, you are the jet setter of the world, you know. You make me sound so frivolous, and I'm <laughs> not a frivolous person. Now how did that all happen, Monique? Tell me something. Oh, because you know. I know I'm friendly with a lot of people, so of course when uh, press writes about you, they do not write about who they've seen you that they d do not know they have an inclination to write about the rich and famous because we are in a very voyeuristic society whereby uh -huh. we like to see how the other people live and we usually like to see that they live better or they th we think they live better uh -huh. they have a better life and mm -hmm. sort of gives us um keeps us away from our own problems mm -hmm. superficially do you travel a lot nowadays? I've, um, I've had a ser serious back injury two years ago. I fell off a galloping horse, and I broke two vertebrae in my shoulder and my foot, so that curtailed some of my uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. traveling. But I have used to travel extensively. I had a home in um, Sardinia in Italy, Ooh. and I saw that I was just on time because uh, hearing about the... Uh, events around the world, it is not too safe to have a home in Sardinia where America uh -huh, uh -huh. has a base right there. Tell me about Andy Warhol. i got to know about this man. Everybody looks at my blonde hair and says, oh, Andy, Andy Warhol. But I'm not really Andy. Tell me about him. I really want to know about Andy Warhol. Well, what kind Andy of is a good friend. He's a good friend. He is he's not more nor less than what you see. I think he's certainly, I think long after we've all gone, and they will write the history of art of this uh, century, he will certainly be mentioned. He changed a lot of the concept of um, art. Mm -hmm. And I think he's a very brilliant artist. Uh -huh. um, he's not particularly uh, entertaining as a person, but he surrounds himself with very entertaining people. Uh, he has and a lot of puppets around. Well, I wouldn't call them puppets. He has uh -huh. uh, good friends, people who really admire him, like him. He has uh -huh. his clique of friends, but all those people that he has around him are very productive people, whether they be Mick Jagger or uh, um, Michael Caine or whomever, uh -huh. those are people who are productive in their own uh -huh. rights. You uh -huh. can't just have people around you who are total entities. you know, somebody uh -huh. has to be interesting in s on some level. True, true. Tell me about the days here in Hollywood. The now days in I, I mean, Monique Van Boren, you were... Very, you know, you were from Belgium, right? Yes. Belgium? Yes, I'm from Brussels. And they used to call you the Belgium Bulge, the Imagine Queen of the Belgium. Oh, now, please. where did that come from? The Queen of the Belgium, uh, Belgium Bulge? They didn't call me that. Didn't they? they? It was not as bad as that. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, well, I think the, that title came from, um, in New York, Earl Wilson wrote a right, column, right. which was very highly syndicated, and... Um, 
he nicknamed me when I was very young the Belgian Bulge Belgium. because it came after the Battle of the Bulge, I guess, uh -huh, in uh -huh. Belgium, and I was from Belgium. I think it's pretty horrific to be referred <laughs> as such, and um, I hope that I have survived this. Uh, you look wonderful, darling. <laughs> you really do. You look Thank wonderful. Thank you. Tell me about the days in Hollywood. The days in Hollywood, you know, when I was working here and I was doing films and was making films, I lived here only for the period of time that I was making the films. Uh -huh. I always had New York as my base and I still live in New York. And I, I, I love New York. I love New York. Yeah. I, I do. I'm uh, involved in a lot of projects that have to do with the ballet. Um, I'm a fanatic on the on ballet world, and I think I have a lot of opportunities to uh, to go to the theater. And um, mm. I have my friends live in uh -huh. New York. Uh -huh. I really have uh, also a lot of friends in California, but my base is really New York. Isn't it? How about your ballet dance here? Come on, tell me about it. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have to read my novel, Night Sanctuary. Ah, this is it. It's all about a Russian ballet dancer who defects and his love affairs with three different women. Yes. And uh, were you one of them? Oh, you have to read and then you can guess. You know, they always think that the first novel is autobiographical. Well, if you think it's autobiographical, I hope that you attribute to me also all the good qualities of the heroines as well as the bad ones. Uh -huh. You were married to an agent, uh, a was theatrical agent, uh, um, uh, Gary Purcell. Jerry Purcell. Jerry. Uh, Jerry Purcell is a manager of mostly country western uh, stars uh -huh. he represented, mm -hmm. uh, Eddie Arnold and Loretta Lynn. I mean, a lot of the very famous uh, mm -hmm. country mm -hmm. western people. And we are very good friends, and he's my and close friend. I've been married uh, three or four times. Mm -hmm. You had children? By I have one son. One son? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Is he an actor? No, not at all. He's not an actor. And uh, I said, if you don't mind, I really don't <laughs> want to discuss my son because he would hate me to bring in sp his personal life, okay. private life in okay. the public. Tell me about Frankenstein, Frankenstein that movie. movie. Andy Warhol did. That uh, was, yes, that it was, was a movie film. that was produced by Carlo Ponti, uh -huh. and it was done in. Uh, uh, in Italy, we did it. Uh, well, I can mention the date. It doesn't date me too far. It's 1976, I believe. Uh -huh. And we did it. I was living in Rome then, and we filmed it on location in the uh, in Tivoli at the uh -huh. castle there. Uh -huh. And uh, I played the Baroness Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. You were good in it. I loved I it. I was married to. Um, oh, it's what a movie. I was, <laughs> I was married to um, the Baron Frankenstein, who was also my brother. Uh -huh. Uh, because the premise of the film, you see, was that our, we thought that our race was so pure that only the two of us could get married to have uh -huh. the right offsprings. Uh -huh. Of course, the film turns into... Uh, it was beautifully filmed. It was filmed uh -huh. in the style of a Visconti film. Uh, it was called Andy Warhol Frankenstein, but it was produced by Carlo Ponti. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And uh, those were the days. I lived in Rome, and it was, uh, it was uh, another kind of Dolce Vita. It was the, uh, I think the Dolce yeah. Vita existed I in the early 50s. Yeah. But the 70s were very good in Rome. It was wonderful. The 70s? Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. I thought the 50s and the 60s, really. Yes, but a lot I did not know, but I yeah. knew the 70s in yeah. Rome, and it was wonderful. It's uh -huh. a most beautiful you city. You travel around the world a lot, Yes, I you? do. I go to Russia almost uh -huh. every year, too. I'm going to bring our next guest who travels around the world. Yes. And this gentleman is from Europe, and, but he's educated here, and also he's educated in Europe. He certainly and has some fine hotels. Uh, his hotels are yes. fantastic. He has five beautiful hotels here in Los Angeles. And I would like you to meet him right All now. Right, his name to. is Severin Ashkenazi, who owns the Armitage, La Ballage. How are you? Thank you. Did you are drop you? did you drop Did Hello. you drop the uh, this is Monique Van Voren, Severin. How are you? Did you drop the La Ballage, like the La La or something? No. Like? Yeah. 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 Yes, Tell me. yes, yes, what? we dropped it. Why is that? Man? Why? Because we thought that we had enough laws <laughs> in right. Los Angeles. Talking about law, you know, in Dynasty they have a, a, a motel called Le, Le Mirage, yes, and on television yes. they call it La Mirage, no, which is wrong. It's wrong, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Tell me about your hotels, my God. Do you want to know about law, or do you want to know about No, I want to know about, about your <laughs> sensational hotels there, with all these original paintings, you know. Every hotel yes. has beautiful paintings. Indeed, indeed. What would you like to know? I would like to know that you know, you know, the Armitage, that's where the first hotel it was. It started ten years ago. Go ahead. It was the first. Uh -huh. It was the first, and actually it, it, it got its renome uh -huh. in nationally and worldwide because it really was the first hotel that was all sweet and very, very luxurious. Wait. There were really none before Lermitage. You had some beautiful hotels, but uh -huh. they weren't all sweet.
beautiful paintings. Indeed, indeed. What would you like to know? I would like to know that, you know, you know, Armitage, that's where the first hotel It was started ten years ago. Go ahead. It no, was no. the first. Uh -huh. It was the first, and actually it, it, it got its renome uh -huh. in nationally and worldwide because it really was the first hotel that was all sweet and very, very luxurious. Really? There were really none before Hermitage. We had some beautiful hotels, but they weren't all sweet, and they, they were they had phenomenal, uh, phenomenally large public spaces right, right. and very small rooms. Uh -huh. And L'Hermitage was a first. And you brought European style. The European style that hotels, they, all the hotels has yes. that European style. L'Hermitage really has. It has. And, ha and have you been to the Babage? No. Oh, it's lovely. And, and also the Le Mandrian. It's lovely. Those yes. are lovely hotels. They Thank really you. are. Yes. We worked very hard. And we worked very, very hard. You worked very hard. Concepts and on the execution of these hotels mm -hmm. and now on the management of these hotels. Of these hotels. They take a great deal of care. As, as you well know, right. they've been You found it diff more difficult to have a hotel of the class you have here than you, you would in Europe? I think that it's probably uh, as difficult or as easy, uh -huh. depending upon which uh, problem you need to resolve. The American uh, workforce is, is very good. Yes. The, the, the young people who... Did you lose a lot of American workforce oh in yes, your hotels? Yes, you yes. Uh -huh. the, the Americans uh -huh. have a work ethic that is superb. Uh -huh. the, the young people who come and start to work for us come with a great amount of enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. They want to achieve, they want to become hoteliers in, in, uh -huh. you know, of their own. Mm -hmm. They are eager to learn, mm -hmm. and I think that it is a misconception to think that uh, we have uh, that there is a European hotel uh, versus the American hotel. Yes, I, I shouldn't say that then. I, 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 I think that we have learned from Europe and from the Orient, mm -hmm. and then adapted a, a hotel, a luxury hotel, to I the see. American needs who want no nonsense, uh -huh. who want superb service who want to be taken care of, who want to be recognized by name, who want to, to know that they are coming back home oh, I see. without the, the, the all the superfluous mm -hmm. uh, uh, gesturing that maybe yes. exists in other parts of the world. Seven Ashkenazi, you were born in Poland. Yes. Now tell me about your dad. I understand your father came to this country with painting, loads of paintings, Monique. I mean, tell us about that story. I've got it here. I heard it. Well, my father uh, gained the love of art from his father, as, I, as my brother and I have gained lo our love for art from, from our father. Yes. When we came here in 1957, some 20, uh, 30 years ago, my superfluous mm -hmm. uh, uh, gesturing that maybe yes. exists in other parts of the world. Seven Ashkenazi, you were born in Poland. Yes. Now tell me about your dad. I understand your father. from the Orient mm -hmm. and then adapted a, a hotel, a I luxury see. hotel to I the see. American needs who want no nonsense, uh -huh. who want superb service, who want to be taken care of, who want to be recognized by name, who want to, to know that they are coming back home oh, I see. without the, 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 all the superfluous mm -hmm. uh, uh, gesturing that maybe yes. exists in other parts of the world. Seven Ashkenazi, you were born in Poland. Yes. Now tell me about your dad. I understand your father came to this country with painting, loads of paintings, Monique. I mean, tell us about that story. I've got it here. I heard it. Well, my father uh, gained the love of art from his father, as, I, as my brother and I have gained lo our love for art from, from our father. Yes. When we came here in 1957, some 20, uh, 30 years ago, my oh. God, almost 20 <laughs> years ago, 
one of the things that he insisted on bringing were his paintings. So he brought uh -huh. most of the art which we owned in Europe, he brought with him. I see. And when we designed L'Hermitage, the concept behind L'Hermitage was, first of all, L'Hermitage Museum in Leningrad, in, uh -huh. the old St. Petersburg. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and therefore, we would have a place where to house the paintings. We had, we had, we had so many that mm -hmm. we couldn't really house them in, in a home. They mm -hmm. were stored and they were really not shown, and it was a pity. I see. So everything that you see in the lobby of L'Hermitage comes from my father's house. Oh, really? And I believe uh, some of these paintings, if not most of them, come still from my grandfather's house. Oh, that's so that is now housed in the lobby. Uh -huh. I see. Uh, every single one. And at Belage, or how about the Belage? At Belage, it, there is a mixture. It's some mixture? some come from, from mm -hmm. my parents' home, uh -huh. uh, and others we've acquired. Over now, you were educated in Paris. You went to school in Paris. I went. Uh, I went to the University of Paris, but uh -huh. I lived in a smaller town called Orléans. Mm -hmm. Orléans. Yeah, I know Orléans. 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 Orléans is named yes. after. Yes, after yes, yes. I know very well. So I studied there. Uh -huh. I, I, I did my baccalaureat, which is uh, some sort of uh, equivalence of a BA philosophy. A year in philosophy. Yes. 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 yes, yes, in philosophy. Yes, mm -hmm. and then came here, mm -hmm. entered UCLA, uh -huh. studied mm -hmm. literature at UCLA, and stayed for a few years in graduate school, uh -huh. and then became a little bored, I guess, so uh -huh. I went into the business world. Okay. I came to the United States on, this, uh, on a Fulbright scholarship originally. Is that what you did? Yes, and I uh -huh. went to New York University where I um, majored in philosophy. So you did too. So far huh? cry from yeah, you show business and uh -huh. singing because I used to sing and act in shows. Yeah. And you did a lot of singing, comedies. didn't you? Did. Yes, you did a lot of musical singing. comedies. Yes, I did Your Mala I did Can Can, I did Kismet, I did uh -huh. all kinds of show, uh, Destry Rides Again. Um, uh -huh. And in 1979, I decided I wanted to write, an, I, wanted to, I always wrote, and I wanted to write a novel. Uh -huh. But you know, how many people do you know that will <laughs> tell you, I will write a novel, but I'll write it when I have time, I'll write it when I'm financially secure, uh -huh. when uh, I don't have anything to do, and I know these things were never going to happen. So I really yes. made up my mind. I was going to write uh, the novel and break the umbilical cord with uh -huh. the show business uh -huh. at the time and write uh, Night Sanctuary, which I wrote and uh -huh. was translated in 12 languages and it's now optioned by Larry Mar. Mm. Mm. Wonderful. Yes. You're married. Yes. Children? Yes. Two little and boys. Two boys? Yes, indeed. Are, are they in the business? Or They're two little, but I must oh. Uh -huh. when uh, I don't have anything to do and I know these things were never going to happen so I really yes. made up my mind I was going to write uh, the novel and break the umbilical cord with uh -huh. the show business uh -huh. at the time and write uh, Night Sanctuary which I wrote and uh -huh. was translated in 12 languages and it's now optioned by Larry Mar. Mm. Mm. Wonderful. Yes. You're married. Yes. Children? Yes. Two little and boys. Two boys? Yes, indeed. Are, are they in the business? Or they're too little, but I must oh, tell you. Oh, too little, okay. Yes, but, uh, but right. one is 10 and one is 12, and uh -huh. the 12-year-old came to me three months prior to his 10th birthday and said, uh, Daddy, uh, I need a job. <laughs> <laughs> so I was taken aback and promised him a job, and he would... Night Sanctuary, which I wrote and uh -huh. was translated in 12 languages, and it's now optioned by Larry Mar. Mm. Wonderful. Yes. You're married. Yes. Yes. Children? Yes. Two little are boys. Two boys? Yes, indeed. Are, are they in the business? Or they're two little, but I must oh, they're two little, okay. Yes, but, uh, but right. one is 10 and one is 12, and uh -huh. the 12-year-old came to me three months prior to his 10th birthday and said, uh, Daddy, uh, I need a job. <laughs> <laughs> so I was taken aback and promised him a job when he would turn 10. But uh -huh. he didn't forget when he turned 10, he asked for a job. And he is 
when he has time on weekends, the pool attendant at Lermita. Oh, oh, nice. nice. So there is a 12-year-old boy who is a pool attendant at Lermita. Fantastic. And he's learning. One is 10, one is 12, and uh -huh. the 12-year-old came to me three months prior to his 10th birthday and said, Daddy, uh, I need a job. <laughs> <laughs> so I was taken aback and promised him a job when he would turn 10. But uh -huh. he didn't forget when he turned 10, he asked for a job, and he is when he has time on weekends, the pool attendant at Lermita. Oh, oh, nice. So there is a 12-year-old boy who is a pool attendant at Lermita. Fantastic. And he's mm -hmm. learning the business. Tell me about the Le Mondrian. You have a lot of rock stars live there, a lot of entertainers in that hotel. Is that correct, you? Yes, yes, we do cater to the music world, entertainment That's good. world, uh, advertising, uh -huh. uh, a lot of advertising yeah. people. I think Mondrian is again a first. Mondrian was a first of its kind. Right. You've seen Mondrian, yes. you recognize that. Yes. It is a, a sort of a first, it is a very modern building. It was an apartment building, building wasn't it? Or something it was an apartment building, very innocuous. Most people didn't even know that it existed. Yes. 16 stories high, and mo most people did not know that there was a building on that corner, on one of the most traveled streets. cater to the music world, entertainment That's world, uh, advertising, uh -huh. uh, a lot of advertising yeah. people. I think Mondrian is again a first. Lermitage was a first of its kind. Right. You've seen Mondrian, yes. you recognize that yes. it is a, a sort of a first, it is a very It was an apartment building, building wasn't it? It was an apartment building, very innocuous. Most people didn't even know that it existed. Yes. 16 stories high, and mo most people did not know that there was a building on that corner, on one of the most traveled streets in uh -huh. the city. And then it looked so plain that I thought it would make a terrific canvas. Yes, what you did. And we finally wooed Jacob Agam to, after months, months of p pursuit, uh -huh. to come and do it. And he did it, and it turned out very, very it's yeah. It has the, all that beautiful colored paintings yes, on and, seen it. and, and sunset on the strip. It's Liza just Minnelli yeah. speaks about it. Yes, yeah, she, she was there. She, uh, matter yes. of fact, had uh, Michael Feinstein, mm. dis she discovered Michael yes. Feinstein out of that room at the Le Mondrian. Yes, we brought him there. Right. You yeah, brought yes, Michael Feinstein. Yeah. Yeah. That's correct. Of, when we opened, uh -huh. and, and we launched his career. Isn't it's like a, yes. Yes. a beautiful yes, party. you're absolutely yes. right. I was there, I remember. Yes. Isn't he playing at the Algonquin in New York? He's there now. Yes. And Liza Eliza really discovered him, and that's where it all happened, from the Le Mondrian. Exactly. Indeed. It's a Indeed. lovely lounge, a terribly elegant yes. lounge. It really is. I like the Bellage. The food is marvelous at the Bellage. It Thank really you. is. The restaurant is just Where wonderful. Where is it located? Bellage is uh, on uh, San Francisco, near Sunset, south but of Sunset. Uh -huh. But tell me, West Hollywood, four hotels in West Hollywood. Why? And Why two more it? to come. Two more? Two more. Yes. In West in Hollywood? In West Hollywood. Why? <laughs> Severed Ashkenazi Why? Why? in West Hollywood. Why? Why? Because, uh, because I think... There now, mm -hmm. yes, yeah. and Liza, but Liza really discovered him, and that's where it all happened from the Le Mondrian. Exactly. Indeed, it's a Indeed. lovely lounge, a terribly elegant yes. lounge. It really is. I like the Bellage. The food is marvelous at the Bellage. It Thank really you. is. The restaurant is just where wonderful. is it located? Bellage is uh, on uh, San Francisco, U.S.
uh, really discovered him, and that's where it all happened, from the Le Mondrian. Exactly. Indeed. It's a Indeed. lovely lounge, a terribly it elegant is. lounge. It really is. I like the Bellage. The food is marvelous at the Bellage. It really is. The restaurant is just Where wonderful. Where is it located? Bellage is uh, on uh, uh, San Vincent in the sunset, south but of Sunset. Uh -huh. But tell me, West Hollywood, four hotels in West Hollywood. Why? And Why two is more to come. Two more? Two more. Yes. In West Hollywood? In West Hollywood. <laughs> Severed Ashkenazi Why in West Hollywood. Why? Why? Because, uh, because I think that the, the, the world today demands small hotels. Uh -huh. And people are tired of the, the 600, 500 thousand room hotels mm -hmm. where you're a member, where you are only uh, housed by computers, uh -huh. where you can't be remembered, and where the, the staff must have uh, must wear plastic smiles, literally, because right. mm -hmm. the, 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 there is nothing else they can do. Uh -huh. Uh, the public today wants small hotels. They're more secure. They give you a different experience. The, the, it is faster, faster to get into your room, faster to get into your car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can deliver better service, uh -huh. and we can uh, really create a very special and that totally is, different yeah, environment. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this book. I got to know more about this book. Did you read this book? No, I haven't. I must well, have we're going to get it. We're both going to read it. Came out, it came out yes, in Harvard Harbor right. Fest. Yes, uh -huh. nights in paperback. So it, it really tells about the rich and famous, then. Is that is well, that Well, it, it, uh, it is, uh, what does the red sweet say? It is explosive, lust, romance, murder, everything. Oh, my God. I, I want uh -huh. to read that right away. It's rich, powerful, sexual, and And it has everything. Yeah. It has everything that people like to read about. Uh -huh. Sex, murder. Hey, tell me, did you know, when we were born, I discovered you have a new love. Oh, 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 come on, let's find out who it is. I hear he's on Broadway right now. Uh, is that right? Uh, yes, he was on Broadway. He's uh, in a show called Tango Argentino, Ooh. which is coming to Big hit. Los Angeles on the 20th of May. Big hit, yes. But did you see yes, yes. yes. Did you know As a matter of fact, you know, I would love to bring a tango orchestra to Bellage. Oh, I, 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 I already th I'm thinking about oh, it. It's, it's, going to take that, it's going to take the town by storm like it did New York. You know, in New York, you cannot go any place that they don't have a tango orchestra. Everyone gives really? tango parties and takes tango lessons. Uh -huh. The show came to Broadway for yes. five weeks uh -huh. from Argentina and remained six months and now they're going to tour america for a year and they come into los angeles for eight weeks really well, since west hollywood is a first for so many yes. so many things well, we will do a tango you have to it opens at the pages here it opens at it opens at the pages on the 20th of may i oh, think that's been marvelous yes that's i'm sure it will take Los Angeles by storm like it did New York. You you cannot go any place in New York where people don't want to go eat Argentinian food, go uh -huh. to Argentinian uh -huh. place, dance uh -huh. the tango. Yes, yes, yes. But you know, of course, the, the tango has nothing to do with the gaucho dancing, yeah, which is a folklore dancing. But it's a, it is so elegant, really, and all these. Uh, the That's, I'm sure it will take Los Angeles by storm like it did New York. You, you cannot go any place in New York where people don't want to go eat Argentinian food, go uh -huh. to Argentinian uh -huh. place, dance uh -huh. the tango. Yes, yes, yes. But, yes, 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 yes. you know, of course, the, the tango has nothing to do with the gaucho dance. Uh -huh.